What's up guys, welcome back. On today's episode of Make It Happen at Home, we're back with another highly requested recipe. Today I'll be showing you how to make Chili's Southwest Egg Rolls. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor, plenty of fresh vegetables, chicken, cheese, and it's wrapped and fried in the egg roll, so who doesn't want that, right? But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Here we have some leftover chicken. This is about two chicken breasts right here that we've uh, gone ahead and diced up. We have our egg roll wrappers. Use whatever ones you can find at the store. We got some fresh spinach, a red bell pepper, some avocado that we're gonna use for our avocado ranch. We got jalapenos, onion, little pepper jack cheese. That's optional as well. Use whatever cheese you like. Some cilantro for garnish some black beans, and some corn. All right, so for our prep, we're just gonna go ahead and begin with the red pepper here. You use whatever color you like. I like the, the red here for the color contrast and the egg rolls though. You wanna dice it up nice and fine since it's going into an egg roll. No right or wrong way to do this, but you do wanna keep in mind that you want all of your veggies to be about the same size for a couple of reasons. One, you want them to cook at the same rate, but you also want them to look evenly distributed in your egg roll. So when you go to dice up your jalapeno and your onion, just take a look at your bell pepper and make sure they're all about the same size. And this episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. It's amazing how fast time flies, especially if you're a business owner, and that's why it's important to start planning early to make the most of your time. Stamps.com has teamed up with the post office to get you huge mailing and shipping discounts up to 84% off. It's a new year no-brainer for your small business. Print your own postage right from your home or office within minutes of signing up and never stress about finding the fastest and cheapest shipping solutions. Stamps.com does it for you automatically. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from the computer anytime, day or night, no lines, no traffic, no waiting. And that's my favorite part about Stamps.com is the efficiency. If you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects you with every major marketplace and shopping cart. Start the new year off by saving serious money on mailing and shipping and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up at Stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen for a special offer that includes a four-week free trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts required. Just go to stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen. All right, guys, so real simple here. We're gonna heat our skillet over medium heat. To that, we're gonna add one to two tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better. We're also gonna coat that with a little avocado oil. Avocado oil has the highest smoke point at about 500 degrees, and that's gonna help the butter not burn. It's also gonna lubricate the skillet a little bit and give us some fat to cook these veggies in. All right, so once you get your veggies in there with that butter, let them absorb all that flavor. We're gonna season them up, let them simmer for about three to five minutes or until they get nice and tender. To get the flavor party started, we're going in with a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. We'll add the rest of the flavor here in a minute, but we wanna get some seasoning on those veggies. Once they get nice and tender, we'll add in the spinach, let that cook down. Then we'll add in the beans, the corn, and then finally our pre-cooked chicken. Right before the spinach goes in, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic paste. You can use fresh garlic here as well. About a tablespoon or so of that. I'm also gonna hit this with some lime juice. Maybe like a half a teaspoon or so. Just to brighten everything up. So once those veggies are nice and soft, in goes the spinach for health. Lots of fresh veggies in this one though, guys. We can pretend like we're not deep frying these. If you wanna throw them in the air fryer, you can. My personal opinion though, air fried egg rolls are inferior. So we're gonna drop ours in some oil because we're here for a good time, not a long time. As you can see, that spinach is working its way in to the veggie mixture beautifully. That's right when you want to add the black beans. So we're going to go in with about a half cup or so of black beans. Good fiber in there. And a half cup or so of corn. The 
Last but not least, in goes our pre-cooked chicken. And the only thing left to do is season this to taste. If you see any extra large pieces of chicken, you kind of break them up. Now, for our seasoning, we're gonna add some chili powder and some smoked paprika. You can use a taco seasoning if you want. If you got a favorite one out there, then by all means, go for it. Smoked paprika, chili powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning for some fresh herb flavor, or not so fresh herb, I guess, if it's dried. A little more AP. And you guys know to drill a little flavor enhancer. In goes a pinch of chicken bouillon powder to beef up the chicken flavor. I'm just gonna fold all of that in. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. That looks perfect right there. That almost looks like a salad. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Plenty of great flavor in here. All right, so once you've tasted it, to make sure that the flavor is spot on, we're to set that aside and allow it to cool for a few minutes before we wrap it in our egg roll wrapper. All right, guys, so now it's time to go ahead and make some homemade avocado ranch. This is gonna be our dipping sauce for the egg rolls. Super delicious, very easy to make at home. This is how you do it. All you need is one half cup of mayonnaise, whatever your favorite brand is. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what my favorite brand is. We're going in with a half cup of buttermilk as well. And then we're gonna add about a half avocado or so. You want it to be extra ripe, that way it blends nicely. You can do this in a blender or a hand blender, food processor, whatever you got. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra avocado for good measure, all right. Once we get this mixed, we'll season it to taste. For the seasoning, we've got some, obviously some ranch seasoning. As you can see, that avocado has made this beautifully thick. We're gonna go ahead and season it with about a packet of ranch seasoning. You can adjust it based on your personal preference because this stuff is a little bit salty. So you don't wanna go too crazy with it. I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning just to cover our bases. Let's give it a good mix and then taste it and adjust as needed. If it needs a little more salt, then go ahead and add it but this should be about perfect. All right guys, now for the fun part, find the best roller in the house. You guys know what I'm talking about and we're gonna roll these egg rolls. So just grab your egg roll wrapper. You wanna wet the edges with some water or egg wash. Eggs are too expensive, so I suggest you use water. Then we're gonna go down with some cheese. Again, I'm using pepper jack today, but use whatever you like. And then we're gonna take a scoop or two of our chicken filling. There we go. And then wrap, seal, and roll. Nice and tight. A million different ways to do this, guys, so feel free to critique me in the comments. But as long as it's wrapped and sealed, that's all that matters. Just make sure it's sealed up nice and tight. If they ever split on you, it's okay to double up and wrap them in a second egg roll wrapper if you need to. All right guys, quick pro tip. If you're ever not paying attention like I was just now and your oil gets a little bit too hot, what you should do is add a little bit of room temperature oil and that'll drastically reduce the temperature in the pan or the fryer. Little pro tip. All right, so once your oil hits 350 degrees, we're gonna drop these egg rolls in there. And when I say drop, I mean place in there gently. Don't overcrowd your fryer. Probably do three at a time or so. These fry up really quick, guys. So maybe three, four minutes, once they get nice and golden brown and beautiful, we'll go ahead and pull them out. This is how we're looking when we're just about done. Just wanna roll them around, make sure they're cooking evenly, got some even color. 
to be nice and crispy. That, my friends, is a Southwest egg roll. I like to cut my egg rolls at an angle like that. We're gonna plate this up with that avocado ranch. And I'm ready to get in there for a taste test. All right, my friends, it is time for the moment of truth. But before we dig into this, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Now I'm going to stop running my mouth. A little lime juice never hurt nobody. Going right on in here. Look at that. Right into that delicious homemade avocado ranch. Best job in the world. Oh my God. What's up guys, welcome back. On today's episode of Make It Happen At Home, I'm gonna, what did I say I wanted to do? 